Discord. Welcome everyone to Yin Yoga. My name is Tammy and I'll be guiding you through the next 45 minutes. Beginning our class in toe pose, turning towards the front of your mat and sitting with your toes down towards the ground and then sitting down onto your heels. Our theme for our class is mindfulness. Letting yourself take a moment here. Close your eyes. Yin is a really nice way to come back into yourself. Slower movements. Taking note of your breath and how you're feeling. Doing a head to toe check. Noticing if your mind is busy. Noticing any areas of tension. Noticing the lovely stretch into the back underneath our feet. Sitting on our, our heels to help take pressure off the knees However, this pose might not be okay for everyone, might not be accessible for everyone. So you could sit in a chair. You could sit with your legs crossed in front. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. Coming into your breath, you may inhale for four seconds and exhale for six seconds. Your breath opening up your body, your breath letting your body release. Another 30 seconds. Slowly coming out of toe pose, making our way to all fours, take your hands forward. Knees come back. Wag your tail. Sit back into the heels and then come forward. Sit back into the heels. Over time. Come forward and hold. Find your neutral spine here. Inhale to cow. Draw your tailbone up first. We hold. Exhale to cat, tailbone dip comes down first. Inhale to cow. Exhale, big cat stretch. Inhale. Exhale. 
Exhale. Find your neutral spine and we hold natural S curve of our spine. Uncurl the toes, sitting back into child's pose, letting the forehead rest down towards the ground. Your arms may be forward or they can be by the sides of your body. Find what is going to work for you. You may also stack your fists on top of each other and let the forehead rest that way. If this is, pose is not accessible for you, for knees, you may lie on your back and take your knees in towards the chest for cradle or come to the side of your body. You may also do this on a chair. Letting your forehead rest to help you find ground, to help you feel grounded, to help you find that calm. Feel your inhale breath opening up your body. The exhale breath, letting yourself release. Being gentle with yourself. Turning inwards. If you notice your mind is still quite busy, turn your attention to your breath. Thirty more seconds. Slowly make your way out of child's pose to all fours. The last fifteen seconds. Toes come out down to the ground and wipe your tail and feel it to come over to your side of the body. Take your legs forward. Bring the bottom of the feet together into butterfly, holding on to your feet with your hands and a little rock side to side. And hold center. You hold center, open up through your feet with an inhale breath, lift. Exhale breath, hold forward, let the head hang.
our head hangs and you start to feel yourself let go. Bring your attention to your physical body. You feel your inner thighs opening up. Feel your body sink a little bit deeper into the ground as your knees come down lower into the ground. Your shoulders give way. The lower back opens. Thirty more seconds. Slowly coming out, the butterfly. Making our way to all fours. So coming back to all fours. Into downward facing dog. Step forward with the right hand, left hand into downward facing dog. Alternating knee bends. Here we hold stillness, let the head hang. Drag in for our next pose. Draw the right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, step onto the outside of the right wrist. You may hold, drag in right here, or lower your knee down towards the ground. Hands down towards the ground. You can tap the fingers or place your hands down and then your finger pads gently are placed against the mat. A little bit more opening into the outside of the right hip would be your forearms coming down. It is what you need for yourself right now. If it may be that you have your knee down and your hands lightly resting on the mat, please do so. Or maybe a little bit more opening with your forearms down. Whatever it is, let the head hang. Come into your breath and let your breath guide you to help you to open up through the body. So inhale, opening up. Breathing into all those areas that are really tight. And then exhale breath, let yourself go. Being aware of how you feel right now in 
If you have a busy mind or your physical body, emotions, taking notice, not focusing on one. Thirty more seconds. Slowly make your way out of dragon into downward facing dog. We hold, and then three-legged dog, left leg lifts up towards the sky, bend through the knee and step onto the outside of the left wrist here. Knee may come down towards that. Let your shoulders relax, draw your shoulders down, your back. Head hangs. We let ourselves go. We came into this pose nice and slow with intention. Finding where you will be able to let yourself go, maybe with your hands down or your forearms down towards the ground. Letting the body go. Turn your attention to your breath. Notice that the outside of your left hip is quite tight or the front of your right quad. Drawing your pelvis down towards the ground. Feel yourself sink a little deeper. Thirty more seconds. Slowly coming out of dragon, back to downward facing dog. Nice and slow as we do this, being mindful. How you move through your body and then to all fours. 
coming over to the side of the body. Legs come forward to the front of your mat. Our next pose is caterpillar. Legs coming out in front of you. Remove the fleshy part from your bottom. If you don't have a pillow right now that you can place onto your legs, you can do the fold forward and let the head hang. If you do have a pillow, nice firm pillow, I have my bolster, you may place it on top of your legs and fold forward that way. Let the forehead rest. Finding where it's gonna work for you with your body here. You can't really see me, I've got some dark clothes on here too. <laughs> okay, with my bare arms, you can probably see a little bit better. Okay, let the right uh, cheek rest on your bolster or forehead down towards the ground. Nice, nice to have that forehead rest to help you to feel grounded, finding that calm. This, help, this pose helps to elongate through our hamstrings and our back. Breathing into those areas. Exhale, release. Thirty more seconds. Just slowly coming out, caterpillar. The next pose is swan. Roll over to the side of your body, spending the knees, come over to the side. Into swan. First, make your way to all fours. Again, be mindful how we move through our body here. Step forward with the right hand, left hand. And I will show you a version of Swan 2. Coming into downward facing dog, three legged dog, draw the right leg up towards the sky, bend through the knee and step your knee forward, turn your right knee out to the right wrist. 
Here, I like to place the pillow underneath of my right hip, or you're placing a block or support. Setting yourself up, you may add the forward fold for sleeping swan. Again, letting the forehead rest. Letting the forehead rest and grounding calm. The version of swan would be figure four lying on your back. Seeing your right ankle over top of the left knee. You may wrap your hands around the left leg, pick it up and hold. You can also do the sitting on the chair, which is always good. Taking your time to set yourself up. We'll be in swan or figure four for a couple more minutes. Continue to hold. Let's get my pillow. Notice where your body is starting to let go. We're at the point in our class where you're starting to feel calm. Your breath starts to slow. Your heart rate starts to slow. more seconds. Slowly make your way out. Swan <clears throat> or figure four. Back into downward facing dog. 
then to all fours. And if you're using the pillow underneath or up your hip, just switch it to the other side. Back into downward facing dog. Or if you're on your bind in your back, into figure four for the other side. Lift the left leg up to the sky, bend through the knee, turn, bring your knee forward and turn your knee out. The left wrist. Place your pillow underneath of your hip. Stretching into the other side of our hip. If you're doing this on a chair, you would be crossing your ankle, left ankle over top. Holding forward, let the forehead rest. Are you noticing your body starting to let go? Let yourself sink again a little bit more. Thirty more seconds. Coming out of swan or figure four. If you're in figure four, continue to lie on your back. Your knees may go into your chest for cradle. And coming out of swan, down facing dog, into all fours. Lower to the side of the body. Rolling over to your back. To supine. Knees coming into the chest. Take the legs up. Roll your legs over to the left side. Arms coming 
in line with your shoulders, opening up through your chest, through your shoulders. Do you have the opposite way of your legs? Turning your head back to the center. Hold. Core strength. Draw the legs back up to the center. Keep your legs up and over to the other side. Can arms open, opening up through the front of your body, shoulder, chest. Twist into our back. Turn your head the opposite way of the legs. Close your eyes. Letting yourself be. Stillness. As we lie in this pose, notice if you have felt an opening up through the front of your body, easier to breathe, maybe your sinuses plugged. Maybe you heard a little bit of noise coming through your intestines, things starting to move and wake up, digest. If you did feel a little bit plugged or Maybe any kind of tension into the forehead. Hopefully this twist has helped. Turn your head back towards the center. Knees come back to the center, drawing your knees into your chest here. Wrap your arms around the legs and hold. For cradle. Our final pose, 
Shavasana. You may lie on the back. You may have your legs up the wall. You may use a wall for support. Knees can be bent or legs straight if you are lying on your back. Putting a cushion or a rolled up blanket underneath the knees for support, that's always nice to do. Or you can sit. I know what's going to work for you now. Turning into yourself. Breath softens. Close your eyes. Let your facial muscles relax. Lips part. Maybe you hear some birds outside, maybe sounds of spring. I will call you back when it is time. Slowly coming back. Notice your breath. Starting from the center, feeling warmth. Letting that warmth spread all throughout the body. Letting that warmth circle. Letting that warmth surround you. If you're lying down, pulling over to your side to fetal, take a moment and then make your way up to a comfortable seated position, placing your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for joining me and sharing your practice with me.
Letting this calm that you feel right now, mind and body, take you through the next week. Namaste.